So this video, it's going live in January, and you know what January means? It's a new year, it's a new dawn, and with that, of course, comes New Year's resolutions. This is the year I'm gonna start a side hustle, build it up and then quit my job, and go full time in my own business, financially free. This is the year I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna go to the gym every day, lift weights, and run my first marathon. This is the year I'm gonna give up fast food, change my diet, and lose weight. At the start of the year, each of these four people sat down and planned their New Year's resolutions. And as they did, they each started buzzing with excitement, imagining how their lives were going to be completely transformed. But you know what? By the time February rolls around, like 99% of the population, each of these people will give up on their goals. And so the question is, why is that? And well, you know, as I've shared on this channel before, when I was a teenager, I had a life goal. I remember in my final year of high school announcing to my economics teacher that, you know what? I'm gonna be a millionaire within 10 years when I'm 28. My economics teacher just smiled. Sure, Sarah, he said, why not? And he walked away. Well, 28 has come and gone and I am happy to say that I did achieve that dream. But I'll tell you now, it almost didn't happen. In my early 20s, like most people, I would get up at 8 a.m., quickly take a shower, brush my teeth, scoff down some breakfast, and then rush off to work each day. Not only was my job boring, but I had a horrible boss that all of the employees hated. And as I sat in my cramped office, staring out the tiny window, I thought to myself, this isn't what I want. I want to be free. I want my life to be different. I want my life to change. And so like most people, I sat down and I made a New Year's resolution. I was going to start a side hustle, turn it into a main hustle, and then quit my job. So the first day back at work, I set my alarm to go off at 6 a.m. I got up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, ate some breakfast, drank a cup of coffee, and then worked on my side hustle. And then when I got home from work at 6.30, I ate some dinner, sat down, and worked on my side hustle. And for that first week, I stayed strong. I got up at 6 a.m., worked, and then came home and continued working on my dream. But the next week, things started to slip. My alarm went off at 6 a.m. and I think to myself, I'm tired, there's no point in working if I'm tired. And I hit the snooze button. And then the next evening, when I finally arrived home from a long day and hard commute, I turned on my laptop and thought, you know, I've spent all day working. I really don't feel like doing more of it. I've been working really hard recently. I deserve a break. And so I chose to YouTube instead. But you know where this is going. Gradually, more and more as the weeks went by, I started to choose YouTube and the snooze button more and more until a month went by and you guessed it, I was back to square one. And I know I'm not alone. I'm sure most people watching this video have done this too. But here's the thing. Sure, that January, I did fail to make a change, but eventually I did succeed at achieving my dream. And the reason for that is because I developed one thing, and that is grit. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, to have grit means you have courage and determination despite difficulty. It means that you have the mental toughness to pursue a goal despite there being difficulties along the way. Because I lacked grit, when I woke up in the morning and was tired, I didn't have the mental toughness to push through it and get up anyway. And when I came home, bored of doing work, I didn't have the mental toughness to continue working regardless, and instead chose the easy, fun option of YouTube. And so this is why I, and most people, fail at achieving their New Year's resolutions. It isn't because their goals are unattainable, it's that they lack the one successful trait that successful people have, and that is grit. Studies have shown that it's not the competitors with the highest IQ that win the USA National Spelling Bee, it's competitors that had the most grit and determination to consistently practice. Unfortunately though, most people are not naturally born with it. But luckily, like most skills in life, you can develop it by making one simple change to how you live your life. See, I made a mistake. The road to victory isn't a straight pathway. It's lined with small wins along the way. And so instead of saying, I'm gonna get up two hours earlier every morning from here on out. I should have said, I'm gonna set my alarm for 30 minutes earlier until I get consistent at waking up then instead. Because it's a smaller change, it's much easier to achieve, and setting attainable goals is very important. Because each time we set a goal, science has shown that our brains become emotionally invested in that goal as though we had already achieved it. Which sounds good, but there's a flip side to that. It means that if we don't achieve that goal, that it creates an emotional trigger in our brains that makes us feel like we've lost a valued possession, which leads to a lot of other negative feelings. 
fear, anxiety, and anguish. By not achieving our goals, we lose something very important, and that is hope. Over his life, Steve Jobs built a $10 billion personal net worth and revolutionized technology with Apple, but it wasn't always this way. In 1980, Steve launched the Apple III, a computer that was supposed to revolutionize the business computer market, but instead of doing that, it did the opposite. Due to many design flaws, the computer would heat up, buzz extremely loudly, and worst of all, crash. Jobs would later go on to say that Apple lost infinite incalculable amounts of money on the Apple III. But it would only get worse for him, and in 1985, Jobs was ousted from his own company, Apple. The ultimate act of failure and betrayal, and for most people, this would completely stop them, but not Jobs. When asked about his firing in retrospect, Jobs said this, Sometimes life hits you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. And that's exactly what hope is. It's when, despite a failure or a setback, you are able to get back up and try again. Because you have faith that if you get up again and try, you will learn a little bit more and a little bit more. Grit isn't when you hope that you will succeed because of luck. Grit is when you have hope, faith and belief that success is because you got up again and again. And it's this faith, this belief that has been shown to be the number one factor that separates high achievers, not intelligence. So start off by setting your alarm 30 minutes earlier. And when you've achieved that consistently, set it to 45 minutes earlier and then set it to 60 minutes earlier in the morning. And gradually build it up so that eventually you prove to yourself that you can reach your final goal. So this year, if you want to be successful and achieve real results, don't rush to the finish line. Start with small goals that you can easily achieve, because as you achieve them and build on them, your hope will grow. Because as you achieve your goals one by one, you will see and prove to yourself that success isn't because of luck, it's because of you.